Hello guys, good morning. Uh, in the last video, we discussed about array list. Uh, now we will discuss some of the core points about the array list. So uh, here, array list uses the array concept. Whenever we create array list object, object array will be created with the default size of uh, 10. So now we will be storing all the elements like this. Uh, all the elements are. Uh, uh, gathered one by one side by side as a continuous uh, sequence as a continuous sequence now if I want to add any element in between in a particular index I have added the new value at index number one at index number one whenever I am adding a new number at the index number one what happens immediately all the elements will be shuffled okay all the elements will be shuffled so now here already 10 objects are stored inside this array list object a new array list object will be created with the elements of with the blocks of 16 with 16 blocks it will be created now 11 will be stored as is this 19 will be stored inside the second place and then all the elements are shuffled one by one Okay, in this case, what happens is all the elements are copied into the new array object. But whenever we remove any particular object, suppose I have called this method, all the elements are copied into new array list object. Now new operation is going to be performed. Remove operation. So when we perform remove operation with end, with a object value 16. So now 16 is in between but after those after that 16 we have other objects also but when we remove the, the object from that place what happens is all the elements which are forward will be shuffled toward the backward side to, towards the backward side. What I am saying is all the elements inside the array will be stored one upon the other like a continuous sequence suppose if I remove all, one of the object in between immediately these objects will occupy the previous spaces so these object will be come to this place and the other object will come to the place all the elements are getting disturbed so what we have to understand is when we take the array list object okay so remove operation adding operation adding or insertion remove operation insertion operation is not at all recommended when we create array list object array list object is not good for okay manipulating operations like remove and insertion operation so to overcome this problem we have linked list concept Okay. Just now I told you for, for removing an insertion operation, it is never recommended to use array list. So what is recommended? Linker list is recommended in order to perform these two operations. So we will discuss about linker list. Whenever we use linker list, internally it uses the doubly linker list concept. So the underlying data structure of the linker list is doubly linker list. What is meant by doubly linker list? We will discuss now briefly. So internally it uses a class node concept. Node concept it will use. Inside the node class, inside the node class, or we will be declaring a variable using the same class name. Node previous and node next. And here t data. So what does it represent? Whenever we create a linker list object while adding the data a node object will be created a node object will be created in that node we will be having three fields here at first it will be the null why because there is no previous node it is the starting node and then here we will be inserting the data it can be anything suppose i want to store 21 21 is stored and here it will store the address of the next node so I have added one more data. Immediately another node will be created. 
so in the last node the next node will be the null value and this in this node will be having the address of this first node suppose the address of this first node is first at the rate 3 5 so this address will be stored in this place first at the rate 3 5 and the address of this is second at the rate 2 3 let us think like this this address will be stored in this place sec at the rate 2 3 so like this the node objects will be connected so to understand briefly in our okay in our terms we'll discuss now suppose i have created linked list object and adding one of the data i have added 21 so immediately a node object will be created node object this class node object will be created in this it the behavior of object is to load non static members we have three non static members so here uh, three fields will be stored first one node previous and here will be having the data and here node next will be having so this 21 will be stored and here we will be having null value here it will be having null value but after adding one more data add of 27 so immediately a new node object will be created node at the rate some value and here it will load as usual as an object behavior loading non static members load previous t data node next so here the null value will be present and these address will be stored inside this not previous as usual same as this but in, in terms of object we are just discussing node at the rate 7 and these address will be stored in this place node at the rate 7 so by this we can say that it is a it is linked two objects are linked through two nodes okay so the address of this node is stored in the second node the address of this node is stored in this first node so that is why it is called as doubly linked list so one node object is storing the address of the previous node as well as storing the address of the next node also that is why it is uh, the underlying data structure is doubly linked list hope you understood the concept and one more thing we have to discuss here is okay we are not using general array concept in case of linked list we are discussing in terms of object here in order to store a simple data also we are utilizing the object i hope you understood about linked list in the next video we will discuss about the differences between linked list and array list thank you guys